Hello, what's going on everyone? I'm back today in Marvel Snap, and today I've got for you guys a Bast Bounce deck. Now, I recently just unlocked uh, bounce cards like Beast. I know I have this dope ass variant, but I promise you I just only recently unlocked Beast. I haven't had him for that long. And then Falcon here is also very new for me. I think he's my most recently unlocked card. And also Bast is very new for me. So I wanted to find a way to put them all together. And obviously Falcon and Beast are, you know, they, they, they fill in that bounce archetype. And I just thought Bast fit in perfectly. Um, we got cards like Hood in here. If we get Bast on our Hood, it's just massive. And then bouncing that Hood back and getting multiple demons is also just really good. Um, we got Hawkeye, arguably the most replaceable card, but that's just per this is just personal personal preference for me. I just I just like Hawkeye, and I got his dope ass variant. So and he can get some good value. He has good synergy with the uh, Beast and Falcon. You know, being able to get his effect off multiple times. You can have like a five, seven power Hawkeye by the end of the game. Who knows? So Hawkeye, pretty cool. Um, we got Mantis, another one cost card to be that benefits from Bast. Oh yeah, also not to mention Hawkeye benefits from Bast. Um, but Mantis, oh I just took her out. Um, yeah, Mantis will benefit obviously. Just a little bit. But she's also here to combo with our Devil Dinosaur and Collector, who are also part of this deck. Um we also got Rocky Raccoon, again, kind of similar to Hawkeye. The Bast helps him out, and we can get him to, like, to trigger his effect multiple times and get even bigger. So just great. Obviously the Beast, um, you know, just a core bounce card. You can't really have this deck without Beast. Um, Collector, he's going to get big from... Whenever you use your Falcon and Beast, Collector's going to go up multiple points every time. Um, but you're also getting things like Mantis and Maria Hill and Hood to increase your hand size for your Devil Dinosaur. And also it, it'll it proc for Collector, so that's just some good synergy there. Um, yeah, talking about the Maria Hill, um, she'll spawn another one cost card for us. So just more low curve for us to play that we can probably get down. Um, and yeah, and then we got um, Iron Man Mystique. The Mystique is here, so we can either copy the Devil Dinosaur or the Iron Man. So the idea is we got either Iron Man or Devil Dinosaur on 5, and then on turn 6 we can do Mystique plus a bunch of other things that we bounced earlier on in the game. So, yeah, that's the list. Uh, it's a lot of fun, really strong. I've been ranking up with it. Um, and yeah, it, it definitely has like a little bit of a learning curve. You got to kind of understand <coughs> how to, how it functions, but hopefully by watching this video, you'll, you'll get a, a good grasp on it. So yeah, let's just get into the game. So I'll see y'all there. Okay. Not a bid opening hand. I'll just go for the hood. Why not? Is it Maria Hill now or Hawkeye? I'm going to go Maria Hill. Just, just to have that curve play. I... Scorpion is so cringe, holy shit. Ooh, Coulson's interesting though. Oh, we should go collector mid, I don't know. So we got some kind of ramp deck, so I gotta be scared now of 
the Sandman. Oh, Sandman will just be so tough if that's what he does. Killmonger. Okay, that's not horrible. I mean, we lose the Hawkeye, but it is what it is. Did we just arrow his ass into oblivion? But no, that doesn't give us many options next turn. I say Devil Dino. There's the Galactus. So, 5, 7, 9, 12, uh, 21 power. He has a 21 power null. Okay, if null is 21 power, he goes to 23. So I can just... Is it just Iron Man? I think it's Iron Man. I don't think I don't I, I beat Null. I am Iron Man. I still win! No way. Victory. <laughs> yep. This deck it be winning, even against Galactus. Oh, uh, a new Galactus player, though, it looks like. But yeah, we'll take that. Alright, Zombie Ronin. Oh, nice, we're going to be able to get our Collector turn one. That's pretty big. Oh, they definitely play mid here. Rocket's going to get... Juiced. I don't want to bounce now. I want to. I want to save that beast. You still got time. It's only turn two. We have this turn and next turn to still focus on bouncing cards. I don't know. I guess he, he's got a pretty nice hand if he's snapping. Yeah, this Deadpool is going to get yoked. That's probably why. <laughs> but it's okay. Playing the super flow, you weirdo. Why are you running Professor X? So it's Destroyer, maybe? Oh, is he gonna do like Death Destroyer or some shit? Iron Man might just be enough, though. Oh shit, I could have.
how big we're about to be. I don't think he even sees this coming. It's death. What? What is it? Yeah, that's not enough, bro. That ain't enough. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. Victory. I love when people get overzealous and snap for me so I don't even have to. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. The Iron Man on 5 into the Mystique. Turn 6 play. It's just, honestly, I should have been snapping probably before I played the Iron Man. Because that's when I knew, like, I had it in the bag, pretty much. Boy, yeah. Let's uh, go on to the next one. I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm fine losing priority, I guess. Imagine we get a bouncy boy. Ah, uh, what the feck? Okay, actually, Iron Man right is huge. And then Mystique Falcon next turn. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't want to snap because I don't know what he's playing with this wave, but like. I am Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man is bonkers, holy shit. Unfortunately, Mystique has got to go to Strange Academy, so we, we might end up getting a double Iron Man right, but it is what it is. Um. Go left, go left, go left, go left. Let's go! This forces him to play for all locations. And I'm pretty sure it just wins. This deck with the power output is insane. <laughs> Especially when they give you wave into Iron Man. Like, argh. Against just a uh, Kirk. <laughs> um. Let's see. Eh, I can, like, just bounce this stuff. Eh, we might want to go Devil Dino there. Oh, you're cringe. Please draw one cost. Please draw one cost. Oh, first to fill this. Hold up. That's a tough call.
Hopefully he's not bouncing. He might be a bounce deck, though. Very well might be. Oh, what the fuck? Please destroy Hood. Uh. Yeah, that might be a treat. A retreat. This is just like... It's just not... The hand ain't there. He's snapping. Yeah. That's fine. It's only one cube in like the last games. We had three games in a row. We won with like six. But we got like. We're still positive on the cube game. Alright. Up against Luna. And honestly, we can just let this pass rip because we want to go collect our next turn. Yeah, Maria Hill was my top deck anyways, is not a great best target. Or... Should I be collecting? Definitely Galactus. There's not a doubt in my mind. Um, just. Wild. Win all three lanes profit? That's just rude. That's just rude. And we pulled it. Okay, so we just need to account for if he does Galactus. And this Wolverine gets as big as possible. He goes to 8 power, 6, 8. I'm also at 8 here. Um, wait, I can just do Demon here and then double Dino here. Galactus, I win. Yep. Probably should have snapped with how with how I was reading that. Enough said, Bob. Yeah, even if your Wolverine is as big as Enough possible, said, it don't matter, bruh. Nice try. <laughs> Victory. This deck doing work. Doing work. Alright, this is probably going to be the last game here. Let's see how we do. We've got our two bounce cards in hand. Hmm. <laughs> Bass doesn't really get, like, big value here, so... 
Maybe it's just Maria Hill. Oh, that's zero titania. Ebony Maw, Jesus. Oy! Another best. What the hell? What the hell, boy? Boy, what the hell is going on? Um, wait, so... I have not seen a Sauron deck in, like, ever. <laughs> oh my god, the abomination is big. Oh my. Bro, that's just tough. Um... What do we do with this information? <laughs> Uh, fuck. Yeah, I think this is a retreat, because that's just a feels bad, man. I'll do one more. I'll do one more game. Yeah, that last X-Mansion game was just rough. Oh yeah, I know you want to play here in that pet mansion. I know you feel so tempted. Oh yeah. Yaga. <laughs> I like the Odin pole. Ooh, okay, this is. Let's just chill. not worry about the Odin and just I don't think the Odin's gonna get as much value dude okay we pretty much got our dream hand I'm gonna snap on this one. Oh, he's he's really excited about this snap. Oh, I should have. Oh, I'm I'm kind of dumb. No cap, but. No kizzy cap. <laughs> uh, but just. You can't draw Odin. I am Iron Man. I'm gonna be double I Iron Man to Iron Man. Snapping, but I don't care. <laughs> Shang? Zabu? Dude, what are you snapping for? I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. 
Nah, I gotta hit him with the toxic emote spam, bro. He he. Victory. <laughs> All right, little toxic finish to the video, but you know you, you gotta do it when it's when it's Steve will do it with the emote spam, thinking he can win with his goofy ah wongs. Yeah, nah, get out of here, bro. But yeah, y'all see how it is. I think that's a good place to end the video. Um, yeah, that's like just this is just a super strong deck. Uh, let's see, we finished up some missions. Ooh, look at this. Speaks group. 100 credits. 100 gold. New Star Lord avatar. Honestly, kind of nice. I'm putting that on right now. Let's do it. Alright. Yeah, but that's going to end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, give this deck a try. I think you're going to have a lot of success with it. It's just super strong. Uh. But yeah, I'll see y'all in another one. Peace out.